much not. He made a joke about getting rid of them, uh, which was which was very disturbing. But on the impeachment front, I mean, especially with Mueller um, coming to testify, it's a problem on two fronts, right? It, one, it makes it look like he is encouraging Russia to get involved in 2020. And on the other hand, it's still about 80 members of Congress, but it's a growing number today. Uh, Joe Kennedy, a close ally of Nancy Pelosi, said came out and said that he wants impeachment uh, proceedings to go forward. That number is growing. I think Mueller's testimony is only going to push more people in that direction, and this is a growing uh, problem for the president. The president over in Japan, there is a report just tonight that he's going to head to South Korea and go to the DMZ, perhaps. He said, after some very important meetings with President Xi of China, I may go try to meet Chairman Kim of North Korea. Hope he sees this tweet the president wrote and could meet him at the border DMZ just to shake his hand and say hello. What's the point for the president? You talk to your sources, Dan, about this G20. Is it about a trade deal with China? Is it about engagement with North Korea? Well, I mean, I think the key word in that... Is there any bridge or... All right. All right, let's go. There's no not getting wet here, is there? I'm just going for it. Here, you want to hold my hand? Come on, little one. Really? Susie. Go ahead of me. Where's she? Go, 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 go. Sabrina. Oh my god, huh? I don't know, they're mosquitoes or gnats or. Ugh. That's not fun. Good girl, Chloe. This is pretty spectacular. Is it all downhill from here? <laughs> 